Good morning, Central Campus. Today is December 9th. I'm Alexandria Fleur, and here are your daily announcements. Today's lunch is meatballs, mashed potatoes, and gravy, dinner roll, fruit and veggie bar, and milk. Key Club members can stop by Mrs. Steele's room to sign up for Salvation Army bell ringing shift. The third hour of Skills for Living students have a special announcement today. Fourth hour of Skills for Living is selling birthday cake pops for 50 cents each. You can order from a Skills for Living student or place your order in the fax department. Orders will be taken until this Friday. Cake pops will be delivered on December 18th. The fifth hour Skills for Living students are selling monster cookies for 75 cents each. The deadline to order is this Friday, December 11th. You can order from a Skills for Living student or stop in the fax department to order. The cookies are going to be delivered on Friday, December 18th. Satisfy your, satisfy your sweet tooth and support the entrepreneurship project today. Auditions for Playmakers are tomorrow and Friday from 3.30 to 5.30. Sign up outside Mr. Gifford's room from 3.01. FCCLA is taking donations for the Dakota Hope Clinic until next Tuesday. Donations needed are sizes 3, 4, and 5 diapers, 0 to 18 month baby clothing, gift cards to Target and Walmart, Please bring all donations to the fax department, room 112. Applications for Science Olympiad are due today to Mrs. Kel or Ms. Kelly or Mr. Barstad. All National Honor Society members are reminded to bring a sweater or a winter gear by this Friday for the sweater drive. You can drop off donations in the driver education room. FFA fundraiser items are arriving on Monday, December 14th. All students who sold Club's Choice should plan to pick up this product on Monday after school, even if it's after practice. Fruit and meat can be picked up and delivered any time during this week. However, Club's Choice items must be picked up on Monday because these are frozen items and freezer space in the Agriculture Education Department is limited. The FFA Christmas Party December meeting is Thursday. December 17th at 3.30 in AGED department. Plan to attend this once a year event. There is a TSA meeting on Friday after school in room 8. All members, please attend. Happy birthday today to McKenna Greek, Avisha Karaman, Kaylee Morehouse, and Hadagorn Wetzel. What's up guys, this is Mike Smith and you're watching another episode of The Harbor. You know, I was having a conversation with a friend the other day and we started to talk about all the different kinds of people in this world. And we began to realize there's really two kinds of people. There's critics and there's creators. When did we become so obsessed with critiquing the way that other people live their life? Look at celebrities or movie stars or professional athletes. We care so much. It's the first thing that pops up on ESPN or TMZ or BuzzFeed. We get consumed in just this opportunity to critique the way that somebody else lives their own life. I mean, where does it come from? Honestly, I think it comes from our obsession with being right. It's like we're self-entitled today to just having the concept of we need to be right. We deserve to be right. I'll never forget the first time I decided to create something big. I had this idea. I wanted to build this skate park for kids. I wanted to open up my first nonprofit. And as I began putting the pieces in place, applying for the application to, to become a nonprofit, getting wood, building ramps, finding a location for it, it was incredible to me how many people just instantly turned into critics. They just instantly told me, oh, he can't do it. And they had all these reasons why. He can't do it because he's not old enough. He can't do it because he doesn't have enough money. He can't do it because of the clothes that he wears or the people that he hangs out with. I had so many critics, people telling me I couldn't do it. And the bigger and bigger things got for me with my skate park, the more it seemed like haters were around every corner. And I used to let it bother me. It used to bother me so bad. I'd read a comment that some kid would make, hating on the way I did things, and it would bother me all day. Someone would, would tell me they didn't like the way that I did it or what we built was terrible, or someone would hate on me as a person, and it used to bother me. I used to lay in bed at night thinking about all the critics, all the people out there that were just hating on what I was doing. And then I realized really quickly, the more I focused on the haters and the critics, the less creative I got. But once I realized, if I just shut that off, I don't pay attention to the haters, I don't pay attention to the critics, and I focus more on being creative, the more successful I've become. 
I think we all have the ability to create, every single one of us. Maybe it's creating you know, an art on a piece of paper at a notebook in your art class. Maybe it's creating a positive environment on your baseball team. Maybe it's creating an opportunity to help someone in your school that's less fortunate than you. I don't think creating has to be for extraordinary people. I think all of us are at our best when we're creating. So I have this little habit. Every morning at six o'clock, I call one of my best friends. And all we do is dream. All we do is talk about the possibilities of big things that we can create together. Nothing's off limits. We talk about companies we wanna start. We talk about ways we could have an impact on the world, ways we could raise better families. We talk about how we could change our communities. Every morning at 6 a.m., we call and we talk to each other for about 20 to 30 minutes. And all we do is inspire each other to do better because he's one of my biggest fans and he loves to create, but he's not a critic. I ultimately think having someone in your life that you can dream with, someone in your life that you can bounce ideas off with, someone in your life you feel safe to come to with your biggest ideas, I think that's so important. I think it's crucial to giving us an opportunity to live a creative life. What would it look like if you took 10 minutes a day? 10 minutes a day to just be creative, to just dream, nothing's out of question. Grab a sketchbook or a notebook or your tablet and just write or draw or just dream about big things that you might be able to create. Ultimately, the cool part about creativity is, is that it breeds bigger ideas. It breeds progression. It breeds this opportunity to do things that have never been done before. But being a critic, being a hater, all that does is slow the process down. All it does is stop the opportunity for something incredible to happen. So I guess my challenge for you is simple. Think about how you spend your day. Are you a critic or are you a creator?